Pembrokeshire. Rated by National Geographic magazine experts as the second best coastline in the world, with 186 miles of magnificent and varied coastline and over 50 beaches. I must admit, I have walked the 186 miles myself, however, I have visited most of these beaches. At St. Gubbins Head, you will find this small chapel built into the limestone cliffs. The majority of the chapel was built in the 13th century, although parts of it may date back further to the 6th century, when St. Gavin, a monk, moved into a cave located on the site of the chapel. One legend suggests that St. Gavin is buried underneath the chapel's altar, located at the east end of the building. They say if you count the steps going down, you won't get the same number coming up. Aparaidi is famous for its blue lagoon. The lagoon is actually a former slate quarry and was active up until 1910 before being abandoned and flooded. Stackpool Key is a small harbour nestled amongst the cliffs. A nice place to stop for a cream tea, park your car and walk to Barrafundal Bay. In 2004, Barrafundal Bay was included in a list of the top 12 beaches in the world and it's one of my favourite beaches. And now we take a look at some other beaches along the Pembrokeshire coastal path. Freshwater East the beach is a lovely crescent-shaped sandy beach with dunes and woodland at the rear, which form a local nature reserve. Kaibor Bay Newgale, two miles of sand backed by a huge pebble bank, a popular surfing beach. The sweeping beach of Marley Sands was chosen as a site for some dramatic battle scenes in Snow White and the Huntsman by Universal Pictures. It is also a location used in the 1968 film The Lion in Winter, which starred Peter O'Toole, Catherine Hepburn and Anthony Hopkins. Kairfai Bay, a small rocky cove at high tide, sandwiched between towering cliffs, one mile south of St. David's. And now we come to Britain's smallest city. St. David's is a tiny cathedral city. It's really no bigger than a village. It's built on the site of the monastery founded by St. David in the 6th century. The city status of St. David's was granted by Her Majesty the Queen on the 1st of June 1995. And now we head north towards Cardigan on the Ceredigion coastal path. To Langranog, a great beach, a couple of good pubs, where you can sit with a cold beer and watch the waves. New Quay, 
with its picturesque harbour and expansive sandy beach. Bottlenose dolphins are regularly seen swimming and diving as they follow the shores of mackerel into the bay. Another favourite of mine is Munt Beach. It's a sheltered sandy cove owned by the National Trust. Overlooking the beach is the Church of the Holy Cross, an example of a medieval sailor's chapel of ease. The present building is probably 14th century. And as the sun sets over Pembroke, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Bye.